Hey everybody, Old Man Smithers here. In chapter two of this flying tutorial for Heroes and Generals, we're gonna cover ribbons and badges. Ribbons and badges are actually really useful in the game. Uh, you get badges by getting your ribbons. So, ribbons first, then badges. We're gonna cover everything that the badges do for you in this video, along with the ribbons and how to get them. So we're gonna get to that right now. Here we're looking at one of my US pilots, Tree Hugger, so named because he loves to hug them trees, especially on factory. And what he's got is gold flak jacket and gold bombs away. Now, these badges, they're important, they do things for you. Uh, how you get them is through ribbon progression. So we're going to cover which ribbons a pilot needs to work on. Right now there are only three ribbons that are really important to a pilot because all of their badges can be gotten in these three ribbons. Those are the dogfight ribbon, the ground support ribbon, and the tactical bomber ribbon. Let's look at each of these in turn. So first up is the dogfighting ribbon. Uh, for this ribbon, points are earned for skilled use of aircraft armaments against enemy planes. But like most ribbons, uh, you do get a little bit of points for doing other things. Like I've been just flying around looking for something to bomb and then all of a sudden, boom, I'll get the dogfight ribbon, even though I'm, I'm not actually in a dogfight. However, most of the points you'll get in this ribbon are for shooting down other planes. As for what this ribbon will give you, it will give you the aircraft thief badge, as well as the airborne badge. And we're going to talk about those badges along with the other badges in just a second, but just know that the dogfight ribbon is where you get these. Next up is the ground support ribbon. This tends to be a very fast progressing ribbon just because a lot of what you do is strafing ground targets uh, once you kill the enemy or of course. So this one will uh, level very quickly. It does give you the flak jacket badge. Flak jacket badge is awesome. It should be one of your badges that you use a lot uh, it, because that protects you from ground fire. And we'll talk a little bit more about that in just a bit. Just remember, ground support gives you flak jacket. And finally, we have the Tactical Bomber Ribbon. Uh, this is a great ribbon. It progresses very slowly just because you get points for dropping bombs. You don't have to hit anything. If you drop a bomb, you will get a little bit of points towards this ribbon. But obviously, you get even more points for dropping and killing enemies with your bombs. Uh, but you can only drop so many bombs before you have to reload. Uh, so it does take a little bit longer than, say, the Ground Support Ribbon. Now, what this gives you is the Bombs Away badge, and this badge is awesome, just because it gives you more bombs to drop whenever you first start off. We're going to talk about this badge and other badges next, but for now, just remember that Tactical Bomber gives you Bombs Away. Okay, so if you look above me, you'll see that I have two badges, and the reason that I have two badges is because I have Veteran Membership. Veteran Membership is sort of the subscription service to Heroes and Generals, if you don't know already. Uh, there's a lot of debate right now about, you know, the whole pay to win aspect of it. Really, veteran membership doesn't give you a whole lot extra uh, as far as game changing things. The only game changing thing that it actually gives you is the ability to have two badges like the above instead of just one. Uh, other than that, it just gives you like 100% um, bonus on experience, which is awesome. And uh, a little bit more money on at the end of every match. So you don't have to, you know, nickel and dime yourself so much anymore. It, all in all, it's not a game breaker. It's definitely not pay to win, although you'll hear people crying about that all the time. In my mind, uh, it's worth it. The developers have done a great job just in the short time I've been playing this game. I don't mind supporting them. So if you're in the same boat, you don't mind throwing down a couple of uh, bucks for veteran membership, I would highly suggest you do it because it does give you those two badges. Everything I'm going to talk about now is based on what I equip with those two badges. If you only have one and you don't have veteran membership, hey, not a big deal. Uh, you're not out that much. Uh, it, it's just... You're gonna have to pick which badge is more important to you. So let's get to that. So first up we have the flag jacket badge. You'll notice that it has damage reduction from ground fire. Bronze gives you minus 10%, silver gives you minus 20%, and gold gives you minus 30%. Now a 30% reduction in ground fire damage might not sound like a lot, but if you watch my Twitch stream, you'll often see me flying around with a perfectly good airplane, but only like three or four bars of health on my pilot. And that's because you will get hit from ground fire whether it be AA, somebody on a machine gun, somebody in a Jeep, or just somebody shooting at you with bolt action rifles, sooner or later you will get hit. This is the difference between life and death a lot of the times, and that's why I always consider it one of my most important badges to equip. So next up is the airborne badge. Uh, the bronze gives you a 25% faster startup time on airplanes, silver gives you 50% faster, gold gives you 75% faster. I'm not much of a fan of this badge just because it's too situational. Uh, the bulk of your time is spent in the air, not starting up your airplane. So 
I, I just don't see the waste of a badge slot for this. There has been some talk about them possibly having this increase your airplane speed in the future. If that was the case, then I might take another look at this badge. But for now, starting up an airplane, it just doesn't help me for the bulk of the time that I'm in the airplane. So therefore, I rarely equip this badge, if ever. Next up, we have Aircraft Thief, another situational badge. We're not even going to spend much time on this. It allows faster unlock of aircraft, 25% faster at bronze, 50% faster at silver, 75% faster at gold. Again, incredibly situational. I do not see anybody spending a badge slot on this particular badge, but you pretty much get it for free anyway, uh, just flying around, so there it is. Finally, we have the Bombs Away badge. Uh, this badge allows you to carry an extra bomb on the airplane, one extra bomb at bronze, two extra bombs at silver, three extra bombs at gold. This badge is incredibly useful. A lot of the times that you're in a plane, you're spent uh, running around, reloading, waiting for your bombs to reload. Uh, any extra bomb is one extra bomb that you can drop on a tank if you're lucky enough to find them. Uh, drop on a spawn, protect the spawn from being capped or interrupt the cap. Uh, piss off all the infantry running around whenever you drop a bomb on them. Extra bombs are great to have. So this is by far my favorite badge. If you only have one badge to equip, it would probably be the bombs away in my opinion because I rate these badges on how useful they are and how much they're used. A uh, flak jacket will keep you alive, but only if you get hit. Whereas bombs, you're constantly dropping bombs running around the battlefield. So uh, up to you, but if I had one badge, it would be bombs away. If I have two badges like I do now, it's always bombs away and flak jacket. Those two are the ones that I use the most. So that's it, quick, short, and to the point. Uh, there's only three rooms right now that give you four badges. Of those four badges, really two are of any use. They've talked about uh, upgrading those badges and making them a little bit more useful in the future if they do that, awesome. But for right now, this is what we have to work with. Uh, in the next couple of videos, we're going to be talking about uh, plane comparisons. I'm going to show you in the video right after that uh, my controls. That's one of the, the biggest questions I get asked and one of the most important for you if you plan on dogfighting. You need to use the controls to their full capability and a lot of people don't right now. Uh, and at that point, that's whenever we actually get into the cockpit and start flying. So I know a lot of you are waiting for that. You're almost there. Stick with it. See you soon. Oh, you like video games? I like video games too. In fact, I like making videos of video games. So if you like what you saw here and you want to see more of it, go ahead and hit subscribe to the YouTube channel. You can also catch me on Facebook, Twitter, or oldmansmithersgaming.com, all of which will let you know whenever I'm online and streaming. Also, make sure you check out some of the videos that we have here. We have other tutorials. We have some Let's Plays. It's just all about having fun. So appreciate y'all joining me. Hope to see you around.